I've tried uh, several methods to mount uh, the saddle onto the milling machine. Uh, when I did this, I um, tucked it down with the bolts. So I've arranged uh, the saddle here for milling, I squared it up of course, and uh, clocked it in here and also then clamped it down. I think it is sufficient to just clamp it like I've done here. Uh, if not, I may have to, of course, hold it here. But um, I tried it uh, the other way around, but my this way, but the travel here wasn't um, long enough. And uh, then I had to arrange it like this, which would be the first choice, of course, also, if it hadn't been for the fact that I couldn't clamp it um, in these slots with uh, the normal, let's say, T-knots, like so, because then I, it interferes with the milling uh, envelope, so to speak, or the milling cutter's path here. So uh, I um, then turned down a few of these bolts to a little less than 8 millimeters, and also then threaded them for 8 millimeter, and uh, we'll try them here. So milling down one millimeter each slot, and I've also then uh, just kiss this surface here. I am about to modify this to um, a wide guy saddle anyway, and then apply a rule on here, I guess, at least. I will uh, look at that, because with rule on here you can then uh, get a sufficient amount of, um, of uh, or uh, alignment will then uh, be, uh, be uh, simpler. I'm feeling it uh, fairly fast. I want it coarse anyway. So I get this kind of rough surface, which I think is uh, nice uh, for the glue to attach to. I will also scratch it up a little bit. So that's uh, 960 thousandths of a millimeter, or almost one millimeter down. But I wasn't too careful. Uh, so I think I snug this part here too hard, and therefore bend it a little bit. So it, it anyway, it became a surface where as it was a um, deviation of six hundredths of a millimeter or there about six, seven. So around about uh, three thou. Um, then of course you can uh, mount the saddle as I've done previously in uh, in the Weiss. Just in my case I used... Uh, uh, round bolts here, clamped on. Uh, you can, of course, then also here then um, support the these wings here better than I did. Probably okay. However, on this last attempt, I uh, decided to use uh, uh, the cross slide. Just mount it upside down and mount the saddle to that. So I just uh, used the T-nuts and then bolt it all down for the purpose made plate instead of using it directly in some other ways. So you turn in the middle plate, and this of course needs to be uh, flat to the table, so I've scraped it. And this I think shows also, um, like I can use this for example, 
how to scrape a plate. It's not flat, or it's close to flat, but not entirely. Quite flat, but still the same principle applies. Although this is an aluminium, it won't be as sturdy or as, I mean, it holds uh, so good as um, cast iron or a steel plate. But for the purpose here, I think it's okay anyway. But I thought I'd just use it as an example for scraping here also to show. Probably can see there. I have a pattern around here and here. So my intention is to fill in this. Of course, at the same time, prove the other part and then measure the corners. Probably a little bit overkill for this purpose. Anyway. I thought it would be fun also to show uh, a little bit of my attempts on hip scraping or push scraping. Uh, I need to stand up a little bit to be mimicking it completely or lowering this. But instead of pushing with the hips, which gives you the most swing, I don't need it. I push with my stomach and then just, well, jerk a little bit back and forth. At least it shows the technique. And on aluminium, I think I'll go backwards because the chips are so large that it obstructs the forward scraping and then uh, easily then uh, makes it slide. So you just try a little bit. I don't need uh, to push hard either because it's such a, um, a soft material. So here we go. for fun but it functions as you can see so somewhat further down the line sure sign that this is coming in here is that this is more obscure I mean you can't see the line so it's the difference is, is uh, less here might be some more but it's not not far to go now Exercise to be finished, you should of course get this in, but for the practical application it doesn't matter. And the accuracy is within one hundredth of a millimeter. So half a thou. And that's well within what what is needed here. So how good are these sides now really? Uh, the flatness was Okay, I think, but how do they compare to this this upper side here? So I will uh, make a uh, measurement on all four corners. You can see this is now 
Uh, what is it? Let's just read those numbers. 31, 2, 3. Because this is just a comparison from this to the others. So 33. This is 33. Spot on. This is 32. And this is 35. So 32 to 35, that is uh, 300 of a millimeter difference. Repeat this once more, this lowest reading. Oh, more 33 and a half, two and a half. So within one thousandth of an inch or two and a half hundredths of a millimeter, that's well within the uh, what we can uh, say is okay from uh, rough milling here and then for application of rulon on top here. <laughs> 